Okay, in today's video, I'm going to go over a problem involving one-dimensional kinematics. And in this video, it's going to be free fall. And we're going to calculate the final velocity of an object that falls through a certain distance. And this is a problem we have. Sir Isaac Newton has recently moved, and he now lives in Berlin, Germany. And he wants to check his theory of gravitation. To do this, he goes to the very top of the Fernsee Turm, which is 370 meters high. He's going to drop an apple, and he wants to know how fast will the apple be traveling just before it hits the ground. So for free fall motion, I like to draw a simple picture. Here's my nice simple picture I drew. Here's my Fernsee Turm at Alexanderplatz in Berlin, Germany. And he's going to be right here at the very top. He's a nice red apple. He's going to drop the apple. It's going to fall straight down, free fall, 370 meters. And he wants to know what's the velocity going to be right here at the bottom before it hits the ground. So for free fall motion, I like to draw a simple picture just like this. The only thing I really know from the problem is that the Tower is the Fernsee Turm is 370 meters high. Here's my apple. It's going to fall straight down. And I like to just draw XY coordinate system. It makes me think about the vectors and the direction that things are moving, whether I'm going to have positive or negative motion. So there is my picture. Now, before we get out our kinematic equations, I like to write down all five of the, of the very <coughs> excuse me of the variables that are in my kinematic equations, and they are, for example the initial velocity, the final velocity, the change in position, which is delta y because it's falling in the y direction, the acceleration, and the time. Now, I like to fill in what I know and what I don't know, what I'm looking for. And the first thing I know, I'm told explicitly here that the tower is 370 meters high. Well, that means the change in position of the object, of the apple, is minus 370 meters, the final minus the initial. It's falling down in the negative direction, minus 370 meters. Now, it doesn't say this explicitly, but because this is a free fall problem, we know that the initial velocity, when Isaac is up there holding the apple, the initial velocity is zero meters per second. And we know the acceleration, which is a vector and also points downward in this case, is minus 9.81 meters per second squared. That is the acceleration due to gravity on Earth. It's a constant on Earth. We are looking for the final velocity, and we're not given the time. We're not going to use the time, so we don't need that. Okay? So there you go. Step one, draw a picture. Step two, write down the variables. Step three, fill in what you know and what you don't know. The next thing we need is to get out our kinematic equations. We need to pick which equation we're going to use to solve for the final velocity. So you'll notice once again, you have been given three of the variables. You're looking for the fourth. Every equation over here has all has four variables in it. So we need to find an equation that has what we're looking for, which is the final velocity, and then the other three things which we are, which we know, and then we can solve for the final velocity. So right away, you should notice that this equation right here does not have the final velocity in it. So therefore we're not going to use that. But the other three do. The other thing you'll notice is that this equation and this equation has the time in it, and we don't know the time. So if we don't know one of the variables, we can't use either of those. That means this is our magic equation for this problem. Okay, so now we're going to use this equation, and we're going to go to the next slide, bring our information with us. we got our friends there term to keep in mind what's going on, and we're going to use this equation. And the next thing you should know is that the initial velocity is zero. If the initial velocity is zero, the initial velocity squared is also zero. So we can simplify this equation to the final velocity is equal to the square root, because this is a square, take the square root of both sides. You get the final velocity is equal to the square root of two times the acceleration times the change in position. All right, so this is our equation we're going to use now. All we're going to simply do is plug in the values. The final velocity is equal to 2 times, now it's minus 9.81, times minus 370, minus and minus the positive. We can take the square root of a positive number, and because we have a square root, we have a negative or positive answer. The magnitude, the speed, the magnitude of the velocity is 85 meters per second. And because it's falling down, we put a negative sign. It's moving in the negative direction. Velocity is a vector, and it's pointing in the negative direction. So the final velocity of the apple after it falls from the very top of the Ferenc air term, free fall motion is from 370 meters is minus 85 meters per second. Okay, that's pretty fast. There you go. And thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, you can do all the following three things. Give me a thumbs up for this video. 
Leave me a nice positive comment in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel, get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos, and we will see you in the next video.